Well, this is a great group, and am I a lucky gal to be sitting here with Wally Shira, Frank Borman, and Jim Lovell. Oh, my. Now, Wally, I talked to you last year oh. when you were here for the Aviation Hall of Fame. I enjoyed it. I'm in bad company today, though. You may <laughs> notice. Bad, bad company. <laughs> but you're going to be tonight uh, introducing or presenting. Presenting Jim Lovell. Jim Lovell. That's why I came. I'm very proud to have that opportunity, Jim, just for your own edification. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm kind of worried. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank, I sat next to you at the dinner last night at the museum. I enjoyed it. And uh, now, Frank, you're going to be tonight's MC. I'm the master of the ceremonies tonight, and I'll, you know, I'll be monitoring these two people very closely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been having a good time. Now, you were all out to the museum today doing a big piece for Vanity Fair. That's going to be in the fall, isn't it? I believe it is. Yes. Yeah, it I heard it's October. 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 In conjunction with uh, John Glenn's uh, play, oh. I believe. Oh, oh, oh. We talked about that last year, oh. about John going up. I'm not that old, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. Wait. You'll get there, Bobby. You'll get there. But let's talk about um, uh, some of the things that you folks have done. Uh -huh. I'm just uh, aghast and amazed at what, what you've done. Um, now, you have been up with, with Jim Lovell how many times, Frank? I, I was up twice on Gemini 7 and Apollo 8. Jim and I flew together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he went on Apollo 13 by himself and it had all that trouble. Oh. He <laughs> wasn't supervised properly. And it was quite a shame. <laughs> you know, two weeks with Frank Borman any place is a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, Jim, when he was asked to come and he heard you were going to be here, he didn't have to say, I'll call you back, or I'll think about it. He <laughs> said, I'll be there. Uh-oh. So. But you know. But I do appreciate that, Jim. Yeah. Jim and I were speaking last night. At, from 64 through 68, five years, we spent more time together than we did with our families. And he, out of that, you either become very good friends yeah. Yeah. or you don't want to see each other. <laughs> and I think we're very good friends. Well, I think you have very good families, too. I want to show this picture, if I may. It's kind of hard to show because of the glare. But now. Who wants to talk about this? Jim or Frank, who took this picture? Thank you, Wally. I think Jim took that picture. I think it was Gene Cernan, to tell you the truth. Apollo <laughs> 17? It was Apollo 17, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, this is night, uh, not the one on Christmas Eve. No, no, no. the Christmas oh. Eve one, as a matter of fact, is out of the field of view there, but it's right over there. Oh, yeah. I have, oh, hand that one yeah. in. Well, yeah, this is the one that Jim took. We'll do a retake. Uh, yeah. We'll do a retake, retake. <laughs> Live television, that, Wally. No, that. Jim, Jim took this one on Christmas Eve as we were coming around the, the lunar Can you surface. see it? Are we getting a glare? Actually, actually, okay. I have to confess that it was really Frank that took that no. picture on Christmas Eve. <laughs> but I know it was Bill Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> but this was Christmas Eve, and you were supposed to say the prayer at your church. Yes, that's right. And, and But you said it to the world. We said it to the world. Well, as a matter of fact, then we read from Genesis, which I think was probably the more memorable part of the flight. And we, oh. I, at least for, for, I think, for both of us, it was more of an afterthought than, than anything. Well, actually, you know, 1968 was uh, a bad year in this country. We had the war going on and assassinations and riots. But I think that, and I think I can speak for Bill and Frank too, that uh, we ended up the year on a positive note with the flight yes. of Apollo 8. Yes. And what did, what did you do um, on that flight? Did you send your wife uh, a gift? I read in a book about that. Was it, oh, it was in your book, Lost Moon. Wally, I'm going to show it. I'll show, <laughs> yours, I'll show yours next time. Yeah. My, book, my book is called Shiraz Space. Shiraz <laughs> Space. Wayne, you have to get that book for me. But I saw the cute picture of your wife, Marilyn, uh, with her coat. Yes, well, what happened was uh, she always wanted a, a mink coat or a mink jacket. And before I ate the flight, I bought one, but I left it at Neiman Marcus. And uh, Lawrence Marcus, who we happen to know a little bit, agreed to deliver it on Christmas Day. And I wrote a note there that said, uh, you know, Merry Christmas, Marilyn, from the Man in the Moon. <laughs> and, and, the, and the code arrived on Christmas Day. Oh, love this book. Now tell me, Jim, how authentic is uh, Apollo 13, the movie, with Tom Hanks? The movie is pretty authentic. There is some artistic license taken into it, yeah. obviously, when you make a movie. Uh, but, uh, but basically, the incidents were true. The one incident that the critics always complained to Howard about by hyping the movie was the time when my wife lost her ring down the drain. That oh, was yeah. a true story. Was the it day true? before the flight. But of course, the plumber came and found it again. But yeah. I mean, but uh, uh, that was a true story. And did your mother say that you could fly a washing machine? That that <laughs> no, that part of the script happened to be the the uh, brainstorm of a of a uh, scriptwriter. But she did say at the end of the flight when. Uh, 
uh, Neil Armstrong and uh, Buzz Aldrin were in the house, and they were sort of uh, escorting my mother, oh, sitting nice. around her. She did say, are you boys in the space program, too? My <laughs> 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 yeah. mother was a little bit in and out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was pretty clever. <laughs> <laughs> Were they, by the way? <laughs> How often do you three get together? <laughs> you know, the wonderful thing about our friendship is we haven't seen each other for a long time, but the, it, it's obvious that, uh, that there's a great camaraderie here. Oh, yeah. my. It's really great. Well, we have here four astronauts in Dayton for the 37th annual enshrinement ceremony tonight, and we have eight enshrinees. So we are really honored to have all of you uh, fine folks here. Well, it was nice to be back. Well, <laughs> we hope you'll come back again, Wally. Thank you. We hope this isn't the last time. By no means. Wally is always a joy, and of course, he was one of the original seven astronauts. I was around before they were. Before they were. <laughs> you know what Frank told me last night? He said, Wally looks great, but he's older than I am. <laughs> Frank hasn't discovered Grecian formula yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have anything to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> but now, where do you live, Frank? You live in, in New Mexico. New Mexico, and, and Jim, so, you and live in. Uh, Los, uh, well, not, uh, I live in Lake Forest, actually, and also down in Texas. I, have, I go back and forth. Yes. And you still live in Rancho Santa Fe? On a, well, a piece of heaven near San Diego. Yes. yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Although we have a second home, if you're going to talk about second homes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in Hawaii. In Hawaii, we go to Kauai. In fact, Hawaii, I'm tan, and we spent the month of June out there in Kauai. Oh. Somebody has to do that. Right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leave it to a nice guy like you. Yeah. And um, Frank, now, are you retired? Well, I still have a, I'm still with a small company uh, that we license people that make patents. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it's not near the uh, challenge that uh, NASA was. Oh, my. Mm. Then, of course, you were with Eastern Airlines. And yeah, I was there the 17 president. years. That, yes. was, that was exciting, too. And, Jim, you have a company? Well, mainly it's just my secretary and myself. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in the speaking business for a long time after the book came out. And then the movie, of course. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, accelerated that and so but uh, now I'm going to be in a very high-tech business one that has a greater failure rate than the space program more challenging very dangerous I'm getting in the restaurant business oh dear oh. <laughs> actually what he was doing was waffling a bit <laughs> <laughs> well we'll have to continue this at another date I don't know whether we can do this well but thank you so much Jim Lovell and Frank Borman and Wally Sherrill thank you. Thank always you. nice to see all nice three of you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. I don't know whether it'd be this exciting, but I can hardly speak, but we'll get together again. Bye-bye. <laughs>